Ladies, gentlemen, esteemed non-binaries, trashkin all, good evening and welcome to Trash Tier Gaming. I'm your humble host, Raspa Trash Bear. And today, perhaps for the last time, we're doing Kodelka. I've got at least one grudge match on the, the schedule today, and then we're going after the true ending. And uh, one bit of shiny, shiny sword to pick up, but uh, that's beside the point. Let's take a look here. Orient myself with the map. Okay, so we got no clear way back to the chapel proper. Except through Patrick's. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem for us. Well, Trashkin, I'm gonna get us to the chapel. Then we're gonna punch that gargoyle in the face. Then I'm gonna pick up that sword. Alright, Trashkin, we're just a stone's throw away. Ah, would you look at that moon. Last time we're gonna see that. Remember right. All roads lead back to the chapel. Oh, that's the front door. Unfortunately, it's locked and cannot be opened. Okay, wrong direction. I never bothered to look at the front gate as a as a boy. I didn't try to nope out. I was like, well, obviously they're not gonna let me even if I could find it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, if nothing else, we we got a pretty shot. Worse things than a pretty skybox, Trashkin. Worse things than a pretty pretty skybox. Ah, there we are, church door. Progreso. All right. Uh, I'm gonna say, you... just let me stroll up to the gargoyle now. Do I have to go grab the the sword and remember where that is? All right, let's get this over with. Ooh, that battle axe detail is not bad. Ah, action, magic. Yeah. I'll fortify decks for giggles. This random encounter may be a blessing in disguise. Give me a little prep time for the fight. Oh, hey, a Galahad sword. That's actually supposed to be one of the good ones, I think. Oh, it's one of the bad ones. But it does boost dex and, and strength because basically it's a busted sword. That's a shame. Alright, let's put the gargoyle killer on you. Everybody else is ready to go. Ooh, not Kodelka and Edward the, 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 the... Ooh, Eddie not doing good. Okay. Oh dear lord. Yeah, Eddie, 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 Eddie. Good lord. Alright. Yes. I wish to tussle. Yo, Gargui, where you at? As you try to proceed, a gargoyle suddenly attacks you. Great. Exactly as planned. 
I know how this fight's gonna go. But I know this sword has but one purpose in this game. Let's smack this beast down. Fortunately, Eddie's already pretty good with a sword. Ooh, so they spent some extra time on this movement. Uh, wait, not magic. Uh, water scroll. We got scrolls, which are basically max. We're gonna ruin your whole reputation, Gargly. Scrawl. Your wind line. Hopefully this this will hit harder. Hard enough. Can't believe that that Edward is just tanking those hits like a champ. Oops. Guess we wait now. Oh, but his agility is turbo boosted, so I just lose an attack. Yeah, I was afraid of that. But that Earth Wax is going to do us some work, though. Alright, action one. Weapion. Hmm. Airax, not our friend for this. Life drinker. Fortunately, Prox off a sword. All right, not, not our friend for this fight. All right, let's flare it in the next Tuesday. And you're on heal duty, James, my boy. This might be rough. Yep, this is about to be rough. Did I under prep for this? Oh yeah, I way under prepped for this. Magic level went up. Okay. Uh, well, I can't do anything this turn. I think this might be a wipe. Oh, not yet, it's not. a fine time for those Roman nuts. Well, Trashkin, I don't know if I can cheese ball my way through this one, but... Hey, if I'm not doing anything with the life drinker, maybe it's time to try the Airfax? Not much damage, but it's some damage. You don't heal, so... Oh, that was a lucky hit. Okay, that I can live with. Alright, we'll just have Kodaka heal themselves. Maybe it's specifically strong against Life Drinker? I don't know. I think I'm gonna try something else. Maybe the Gargoyle's just a tough bastard. Why is Kodelka not getting a turn here? I'm missing something? Oof.
Ah, there it is. That's weird. Alright. Locked out of using items? Okay. That's funky. And Kodelka's getting skipped in the turn order. Okay! I under prepped. Alright, Trashkin. I got some work to do. This copy is a little glitchy. All right, we await the inevitable. Yep, yep, this is tougher than the final boss. Well, that leaves me with but one chains of recourse, Trashkin. To grind it out. Alright, I'm gonna get after that. Well, Trashkin, grinding looks a lot like running in circles in specific places. This is the hard work of doing the RPGs. It's a completely optional box. I don't have to beat it. But knowing it exists is enough to offend my delicate sensitivities. So we're hunting for armor, and... Maybe a few weapons, and quite possibly. Unfortunately, we can't hunt stat idols. Those are forbidden to us. Oh, I, I forgot to equip the weapon again. That's fine. We, we need the, the flare XP anyway. A rare time when you're gonna get a chance to fortify something. Well, Trashkin, back to it. I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. So, having gotten my face kicked in, I have turned again to the ancient scrolls. And learned where to hunt what I need to hunt. And that's, uh, this purple butterball right here, a shadow, type C. They pop up in Patrick's quarters. Uh, specifically, the, the center room and the lower levels. And, uh, yeah, the lower level of Patrick's quarters seems to be it. Like, enemies are specific to a set of screens, apparently. And these guys drop ropes. Mm. Well, onesie twosies. Yeah, this is my life now. Oh, uh, and the good news. We did pull one rope. One earth rope. But, uh, boost luck, vitality, and, uh, or excuse me, it drops vitality? It drops vitality, but it boosts luck. Oh no, it drops vitality compared to the chainmail. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, this is gonna be a life for a while. I'll let you know when I find my second. So Trashkin, well, while I'm here uh, pacing back and forth, I should probably mention that no one's entirely sure how the mask works. Some feel it boosts a uh, rare item drop chance, and uh, it lowers your encounter rate for weaker enemies. That much we know it does do. The, the weaker enemies getting bounced kind of a deal. But uh, we have no idea what else, if anything. Uh, I don't think the, the code divers have been into Kodelka yet. So if that's a hobby of yours, and you're you're feeling a yen to learn some secret knowledge, that might be an avenue. But, uh, yeah, like, some folks swear up and down they have a better scroll chance 
I, I just thought I should straighten that out, that I have nothing to back up the scrolls dropping while I have the mask. I, I suppose we could trial and error it, but I got a lot of trash can. I'm, I'm doing a lot of grinding as we speak. Oh, uh, incidentally. No, no new robe yet, but, uh... Good, good for your four levels. All right, Trashkin, back when there's something to report. Well, 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 Trashkin, it took us nearly two hours, but we got it. We got a robe. It's two robes down. Now for a, a suit of plate mail. Let's uh, see if this improves over Ogden's. Boy, how do I hope it do. It do by a fair stretch, though we're going to be rebalancing for a hot minute. And it boosts luck, which we're going to need. Because, again, this, this took me nearly two hours. But uh, it has done wonders for the grind. Now, you might be wondering where the next hunt is. We're hunting for possessed suits of armor. And we go one floor up. Just one. Top of the stairs. This section right here. And I think I want to do perhaps in the... In the lab here. Alright, Trashkin. Back when there's something to report. Oh, well, go figure, Trashkin. I, I finally figured out how to pick up the Roman... Uh, stop. Stop laughing. Yeah, I, I finally figured out how to pick up the Roman nuts. You, you gotta pick them from this side of the table, not the, the far side. The more you know. Well, back to laps. Ah, yes, Trashkin. At long last, after five encounters, our quarry... Incidentally, the exploded corpses drop jewel rings. Rarely, but they do drop them. So if you're hunting for the perfect accessory, well, that's where to find it. Well, one of them anyway. I should really see if it's worth doing any uh, accessory hunting. Let's see, uh, let's fortify strength. And flare, because I want at least one spell maxed out for this. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes! I keep forgetting that Edward is a walking wall now. Alright, first one down. Now, do we get lucky off the bat is the question. The grinding's not too hard, like... Two, maybe three fights and we level up. Ah, well, Kodaka's lagging behind James, so... It's, uh... Yeah, like, how I got a J-ring out of the deal. Well, back to it. More laps. Alright, Trashkin. 27 minutes later or so... Three hours in the grind total. We have our second quarry. Well, here's hoping we get lucky this time. Ah. Uh, okay, Earth. Earth base. Got it. And I finally leveled up Fortify. We're gonna Fortify Dex. <laughs> Alright, um... Uh, give me flare. Well, onesie twosie this. Apparently misses do count towards doability break. But they also count towards experience for the weapon, so... Unfortunately, combo hits also count towards durability. So the better you are with it, the more likely you are to bust it. Do you get some two-for-one action? Uh, nope. Alright. I want that armor. 
so I'll be glad if you're aligned. And free! That free hit axe combo is something to behold, though. Just change nothing there if you ever remake this. It's perfect. Oh, we got a level up out of the deal, at least. Alright. Uh, we're stuck balancing you yet. We got another two levels of that. Ah, the J-ring bane of my existence. Alright, fine, it might be better than what I have. Alright, back when I find another one, Trashkin. What do you know, Trashkin? Another right off the bat. Oh, right, you're immune. Oh, well, that's fine. Hang it, we'll take out the knight first. doesn't go diagonal. Then again, I suppose that break the game even harder. Oh, we're gonna get smacked. Oh, that, that would be concerning. I'll tell you, these explosivo corpses. Well, we're gonna keep smacking it for that sweet, sweet axe XP. I should really bother to take a look at those levels. Kinda gotta be willing to pay around a little if you wanna level any of your spells up. Like, Unfortunately, the, the best level up grind in the game, I, I, I conceded to uh, Progrizo. That, that would be the doll girl, or the twins, with the dolls. Before you fork over that doll, Trashkin, make sure you're where you want to be in your skills and builds. Like, she's, she's a relatively convenient grinding spot, relatively safe to do. You're not going to take any damage, you're just going to run out of MP. Alright. Well. I have again completely ruined my bouncing. Not there. Um, hmm. We'll worry about evening it out later. Alright, back to it. Alright, another chance at our quarry. Here's helping. It's, uh... Feeling like longer and longer between these, but... If there's nothing else, it's plenty of chance to level up our, our boost magic. Just clear the way for Eddie. Nothing else. All the random J ring drops have allowed me to to match and swap. All right, now it's time for the X band, man. I'm hoping we get lucky. Truly. Ooh, 
that third swing. So apparently Edward's the most well-rounded in weapons because he's got free levels in one-handed sword, free levels in two-handed sword, and free levels in axe. Ah, yes. Let's see. And dump a point in luck. Oh, B, it does go up past 99. Okay, good to know. We're, we're going to have to over-level uh, Dex a little. Ah, finally! Terrific. All right, let's see what it does for our stats, Trashkin. Our mail plate. Uh, it ups our, our, uh, our hacking vitality by one. All right, let's see what the raw stats look like. Okay, it, it ups that by... Ooh, and it ups our luck by six? Okay. And let's see, that's closer to 17. Okay. Good to know. Sometimes you, you just, you just want to see it for full effect. Well, I hate to say it. It's time to discard Ogden's. And the Earth Chain Mail, which served us so very well. I wonder, I wonder what the descripto on these is. Grub decorated with mystic runes to enhance magical prowess. The runes are said to call upon the power of the Earth Spirits, and thereby protect the wearer of the robe. The power of the Earth Spirit. Okay. Just the case. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Earth mail is armor made of large metal plates that are attached to one another by leather straps. It depends. Like some use an arming jack, which is a gabison with chain mail at specific joints. Um Basically, your armor's only as good as your padding. Anybody that's been hit in armor will tell you that, but... Although it offers the best protection of any type of armor, it greatly hinders the use of freedom of action. Well, not... any more than chain mail in our case. We're not enough to care. Well, that's it for that. Time to hunt scrolls. Now, remember those Bagley dudes? Yeah, I, I barely remember them either. But you can find the second type in the vestry, and that's what we'll be hunting. Fun, profit, and experience points. We're basically on to extra eddings and making sure we have a stash of... scrolls on us for the fight. We've, uh, already got a good stash of, uh... Tomiko soup. Let me tell you, that soup can solve some problems, Trashkin. And... Discardo. And... Alon Z. See you in a bit, Trashkin. Well, Trashkin, after a quick stave, I, I stand corrected. We're closer to three hours in. And, uh... Damn near ten levels. If not more, then. Boy, howdy. Well, we're gonna be doing laps, so... If there's someone to report, Trashkin, I'll be back. But that might be a minute. We got an awful lot of training to do, because we might... We might not necessarily beat the Gargoyle on Brute Force, but we are going to give him a run for his money after this many laps. Back in a bit. Okay, Trashkin. 
We're gonna give this another go because I got bored farming scrolls. Oh. Is that the you got goy? Oh no, these are garden varietals. But yeah, uh, scroll farming, as it turns out, is real tedious. Especially when you already got plate mail and robes. Wait. Wrong magic. There we go. Take care of the far, and the rest will sort itself out, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, all that time, and I still didn't manage to level up Fortify Dexterity. That's the punchline. Hey, there we go. I'm sure that'll be the key to victory, is a level 2 Dexterity spell. Certain of it. Feel it in my bones. Oh, I really thought Life Drinker would have made more of a difference, but alas. And a lack. They'll let me cheese my way through that particular voyage. Not anything good? Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm still balancing out everything. This James just keeps getting such huge bonuses to strength in things. Alright, now it's time to equip the Gargoyle Killer. Oof, it drops everything. Everything! Maybe I should throw a reflect on him and just have him take blows on the, the chin with the, the boosted sats. Alright, here we go. Blob willing. This is not foolhardy. Alright, we're gonna get straight up and dictate the course of this battle. The thing I'm gonna do is wait. The second thing we're gonna do is wait. I forgot to refill his hecking stat bar. We'll, we'll go ahead and dump two heals on him right now. No, hold, hold, hold. hold. I feel like this is going to be half the fight right here. I'm pretty sure we can neutralize a third of the attacks. Just keep Eddie on his feet. Doing? You just have Eddie use a Pencia. Being, I'm being a derp. Being a real doofus. Being a real game goon. Yeah, just blow a Pencia. Go full offense. Uh, wait. 
All right. Physical attacks are still pretty much neutraled out. Uh, all right, let's put Reflect on Eddie, and then we might have our immovable stone. See how our magic does now. Just shy of double. Boy, I hope my piety doesn't mess that up. Alright, wait. Uh yeah, we're gonna scroll them. Why not? Sixty-six. Ah, so it's based on the user. Okay, I've, I've learned a valuable lesson. The max level is if cast by. Level three, ninety-nine, and we're only dealing a thousand. Ooh. All right, your your job is to wait and heal yourself. Yeah, we'll burn a, a, a Tomikos to, to top ourselves off. If we don't swing, we can't break the sword. We still haven't been hit by magic again. Good lord. Gargoyle killer is crack. Alright, let's see how Charlotte's book does. Basically, it casts as if a max level by the character. I have no idea what max level of, of said spell is. Good lord, Eddie. Uh... Anything else useful here? No. Hang it. Wait. Seriously? That's all it took? Well, that was... Incredibly anticlimactic, trash kid. I... That, that... I'm, I'm glad to be done with it and pick up the, the magic magic sword. And that's the only baddie that carries... Idols in the game. Before the boss. Alright. Well, I guess there's no need for Roger Staff after all. Yes, Edward. Please, thank you. I heard mention of there being a shotgun somewhere around here. I think it's supposed to be somewhere over here. Well, hell's bells, man. Oh, you. You, no doubt. Oh, come on. Give, give, give me the thing. There's a corpse here, game. Let me inspect it. Well. Well, it's not important anyway, Trashkin. Trashkin. 
So I suppose our next to do's for our farewell tour. Wonder how much barehanded Drunkle Drager like like Edward does at the moment. Just just for curiosity's sake. Damn! Eddie's hands are lethal. I mean, I'm not gonna really need it, but I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway. The irony is I'm better prepared to punch the final boss in the face now than I was when I did it. I just didn't want to grind. I will happily take what those drop. So those little creepy crawlers actually drop Rosarios, which might outperform our J-Rings. The Jeweled Rings, which are great, but the Rosarios can edge them out by a little if you're lucky on the rolls. Like, every item has a range they spawn into. Eddie's just beast moding it. <laughs> Now, you might be wondering, Ras, why do you care so much about this magical sword? And the short answer is because Tiny Rasp was denied getting his grubby little paws on it. Because if you try gr Hey, we finally got a Rosario! Let's see if that's an improvement for anyone. Yeah, I was denied that, but it's also a, a cool little piece of uh, notable to do there. Wait, why do I care about you, Eddie? No offense, Chief, just, uh... Ah, no luck there. All right. No luck there. Our, our J-rings are just too strong. Like, in theory, they can be stronger than the J-rings. We just haven't had any luck on the rolls. It's, it's like Destiny. Sometimes you get lucky on the rolls, sometimes you don't. Ugh. I just don't have it in me to play more Destiny 2 trash game. I can't. It's not bad, just I, I don't wanna. Alright. If I remember correctly, off to one of the sides here is the Holy Blade. this way? Nope. Uh, that's Patrick shit. Uh, over here? De nada? De nada. Uh, what about... Ah. Okay. Ah, yes, the Holy Blade. Right next to the gate. See, if you try to yank it, the gargoyle will attack you. So you might notice it looks a little weird. But Saknoff is based on a sword from a tale that's of importance. A fortress unvanquishable except to one. In the story, there is a monstrous crocodile, dragon-like in nature, that is slain. And the sword is fashioned from one of its teeth, sharpened, and grisly enough, with its eye. It's a tale by Lord Dunsany. I might have gotten the title wrong, but... It's a very cool bit of trivia. I, I also learned that some mad lad or lass, or lads and lasses, translated the Kodelka 
drama CD, and there is, in fact, a manga called Delka Scream of the Mansion, which made me go, okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta eyeball some of those panels later. Like, it doesn't have a giant pile of, of cross-promotionals. But it has a big enough pile of cross-promotionals. Alright, Trashkin. That said, we'll show off the sword when we get to it. But first, we gotta show off the, or the standing dead state. Now, like I said, there is a cat that'll spawn in the encounters on the tower. But you have to know the cat will drop the amulet. Or, or the pendant, the amulet. Or you're sunk. I didn't know that, so I thought I needed to play another 13 hours of video game. Eh, why not? Uh, action. Magic. Flare. Ooh. Sprite today. There we go. All right, Trashkin, I'm gonna fast forward us to that false ending kiss off real quick. Well, I suppose I can wax poetic and explain why I'm I'm not a huge fan of the good ending on our way there. We're gonna run a little over if I do, but why not? So I dislike the good ending, not because it's challenging, not because the gargoyle is a tougher fight. but because it lacks pathos. And you'll see what I mean when we have the proper ending to compare to. But the bad ending actually made me like James for a number of reasons. But uh, the reason I go on about Lord Dunsany a bit is, one, it's a cool reference. And uh, if you don't know, or uh, you aren't a literary nerd. Now, the, the only Lord Dunsany story that I heard was read by Julie Hoberson, podcasting's crazy aunt. Um, and it was A Charm Against First, which... I could explain it to you, but it ruined it. You, you should go and listen to it for yourself. But. Lord Dunsany's actual name was Edward Plunkett, if I remember correctly. That's the joke. This is what Lord Dunsany got up to before he settled down to write. And he did specialize in tales of the odd and the macabre and the fantastical. Alright. First order of business. Grab a save. Then I'm going to pause because that's that's all that to do. But um, the other reason I, I dislike it is... The, the good ending, that is. It lacks pathos. What Kodelka says doesn't doesn't really ring true to me because Kodelka speaks to the dead. I think that was them hinting, yeah, this is not how it ends. Like, Kodelka, of all people going, the dead don't speak. It was me going, you know dang well the dead speak. Or it might be Zombos don't speak, but I mean, we got have a lot of reanimated corpses. None of them speak to us. The spirits do. Charlotte did, but Charlotte was uh, the exception, not the rule here. So I'm not quite sure how to rationale that one. Uh, we, we've already been, we, we've already opened it, we can already proceed. Oh, you guys only show up rarely because you drop them idols. Okay. Maybe we'll get lucky and pull another rod. Who knows? Not that we need the stat boots at this point, but... Ah! Worth it! Eh, why not? The, 
not like you're gonna dock me score points at this point. Everything we have on us is to the end. We'll finish this combat, then I'll pause so I get in position. I got one other thing to mention about the vines that I forgot. But, you know, the Tree of Life, as it turns out, is real tough. And, uh... Yeah, there's... There was an aspect I forgot about one. Oh, you're immune! Fighting baddies that can't damage one of your party. And, uh... Or that can't damage Eddie. And, uh... And, uh, you can't damage the spell. Great way of grinding XP for that spell. Because miss or hit, it counts. I don't know if absorb counts, but I know miss or zero damage counts. Oh, another love up. How generous. All right, see you in just a moment, Trashkin. Ah, first round against the golem, we get a rod. Go figure. Ah, yes, I wanted to talk about this. If I remember correctly? That corpse is actually Patrick's corpse. So, uh, I just wanted to mention that I feel no, uh, pity for Patrick whatsoever in this scenario. <laughs> boo boo a jerk. <laughs> well, let's try the water axe. Remember, right, this didn't work out great for me last time. We'll just, uh, rush the mini-boss. I believe the boss is referred to, or the mini-boss is referred to as Patrick's Vine. I think there is an actual difference, but... Dang if I could tell you in raw stats. Oh, right, right, right. You like to dodge stuff. Okay. Well, at least it's XP for the spell. It's gonna be oh so critical. But yeah, like, ultimately, there's there's a lot to be said in this game about disregarding your partner's wishes. Well, at least we got some collateral damage on that one. Bye bye Bind V. Well, let's hope this works out for us. Yep. Alright. Water works for axe. Let's see if it works for spells. Here's open. Yeah! Eddie going to town. Like, the only weapons I tend to toss right away are Mystics, because they're only good for casters, they, they regen HP. But don't let me dissuade you from trying to build your crazy... crazy MP regen melee wizard. Good work. I don't know this game system that well. Uh... hmm... There we go. Back in balance. Ah, an intelligence idol, huh? Well, it can be slightly cattywampus. Let's, uh... Use that dex idol. Each of the idols represent a different god. Uh, like dex is Artemis. You don't get different reps, though. They didn't have that kind of time. So, Artemis. Uh, for that to Eddie. 
I wonder who intelligence is Hephaestus maybe? Athena? Athena got us a victory, of course. Oh, uh, right. Time to make a save, Trashkin. Excuse me. Trashkin, always remember, if you're using save slots, always, 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 if you have two free, use two. It's, nothing's more embarrassing than going to load a save state and overriding it because you accidentally hit save state instead of load. Definitely hasn't happened to me before that anyone can prove. But yeah, if you're going to make one save state, make two, in case you have an order of operations there. <laughs> or accidentally mash save state. <laughs> oh. Well, I suppose I'm going to show you the false ending, Trashkin. I should probably take off the pendant now. Wait, what am I doing? This is Eddie we're talking about. Mr. Speedy McBash. Alright, smack the, the half deaded Minotaur. Kinda glad you don't have your full capacity there. You look extra beefy. Yeah? One like it hop disturbs me more than most baddies in this game. <laughs> Alright, trash game, back with you in a moment. Alright, we're in position, I do believe. Now, if you are fully hardy enough to discard the pendant. Or miss it. Again, there is a black cat enemy that can show up here if you're patient. Who is supposed to? A uh, feeling of an easiness grows over you as you realize you no longer have the pendant. Oh, they warned you? I totally missed that. But if you show up without the pendant, this scene plays out a little different. This is a standing dead. But there is an out, they just don't tell you. You can feel a pulse in the plant. Previously steady, it suddenly picks up pace until. it explodes violently. So this is coyokenly called the worst end. Without the pendant. Oh, I'm surprised I haven't seen this meme more. Yeah, they they just kill you outright. Like point and click style. But that's not what happens to us, Trashkin. Excuse me while I load that safe state. Now, we, we come away from that foolish, foolish world in which we were stupid enough to throw away the pendant. So, Trashkin. I got a tower fight up, and you've seen that before. But, uh, we will, at least during the fight, show off. Briefly. However briefly. Sandcloth. Spent all this time balancing my stats and they keep getting thrown all out of whack. Alright, we can probably skip over this, Trash. Can you remember this? We we've had the, the contrast. Now, fortunately, in this game, cutscenes are skippable. Because you've already seen it, and I respect your time too much to waste it, Trash King, unless I'm waxing philosophical. I know, I'm inconsistent about the rules of this channel, and occasionally I play Calvin Ball with them, but I try to keep it consistent. Alright, Elaine, come and get us. That's what I thought. Here we go, baby! Just, uh... see first fight absorbs light half damage from water and nulls earth what I made it through honest the first time 
so wind and fire is the way to go for this one. Oh, Sackoff model looks sweet. Very, very reminiscent of... Oh, right, you're immune to... To physical this fight. Fortunately, we have two people who've leveled up, uh... Heckin' magic. Alright, uh... The, 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 the. Alright, let them have it! All right, I guess we'll show off Sunclough in the second bout. All right, cut loose. Even better than before. We managed to mill her down last time. Just by outlasting her. I do appreciate that they turned off random encounters for this dance number. Alright, retreat to your corner. Oh, we're not done yet? Alright. even denting Eddie's Eddie's health this time. Alright. Firestorm round two. We're gonna run a little long today, Trashkin. I'm good with that. Oh, does Sanko affect poison? Is, is that a Poison strict? Is that particle effect telling you this weapon inflicts poison? Ooh. Ah, there we go. Now, how you get the bad ending, the canon ending, which I actually prefer for once. Go figure. is a bit boring. Uh, basically, instead of beat Elaine in the third form, you lose to her. But where it goes is a much stronger ending. The, the other is just kind of a, and everybody walked off into the sunset. There's just no pathos there. I love how they curve the field for it. Like there's that implied curve. All right, now you're not immune to physical. Oh lord. Eddie one-shotted her. Good sweet gravy. Yeah, I see why people went after Sandcloth in preparation to to beat Elaine. I get it now. It takes a lot of the frustration out of that fight. So, yeah, it's it's a shame Sha her uh the holy sword Sandcloth is going to waste. But at least I got to make a decent literary reference out of it. Alright, alright, moving along. We, we know how, how this goes, Hellspawn. Surprised you didn't get a level up out of that deal, but... <sighs> so... Since we could accidentally speedball her... It's possible. So the final form actually only has about 2,000 HP. This is going to be the most boring fight in the game for us, Trashkin. So we're going to have to stand by. And let the monster come for us. I think she's going to get Eddie last. The problem is we completely outclass her in speed. Let's see, agility... 80. Okay, we don't completely outclass her, but we might as well. Uh, 
Oh, this is gonna be painfully boring trash can. All right, I'll speed along to when it's going worse. Okay, just to be safe, Trashkin, we're gonna open it up. It was taking a while, and then I remembered I could just play badly. It's gonna be dull, but I don't want to miss the start of this. I've been waiting near 20 hours for this. Why won't you just hit me, you goon? Ah, magic attacks. Come on. Even with near 100 stats, it still does 200. That That is kind of terrifying. Alright, come on, swing. Swing already. There you go. Alright, Trashkin, you're in for a treat. Dear God, is this my fault? Do you blame me? Are you punishing me now because the path of my faith was tainted? I accept my fate. If it is your wish, then I accept my fate. He who has an ear, let him hear. If anyone is to go into captivity, into captivity he will go. If anyone is to be killed with a sword, with the sword he will be killed. I am what I am. I am content with my lot. I have always loved you, Elaine. Something we can do. We'll be fine. Trust me. In these crazy times, young people push themselves too much. Sun came out. I prefer it a little hazier, though. Goodbye. We'll probably never see each other again. Hey, your nickname, Slato. What does it mean? I haven't even asked you yet. Will you tell me? It... it means... treasure. Oh, that's rich. I'll remember that. Treasure. Is it okay, child, for you not to follow him? Yeah, it's okay. I have a feeling that someday, somewhere, we'll meet again. Trashkin, if you wonder how I keep my mouth shut during that and not make fanboy noises, it's because I mute my mic. <laughs> so, same ending credits, same team. But that ending! James taking responsibility for, for his actions and his inactions and it being enough. Oh, it makes me actually like him. Where he's like, yeah! I set this in motion. Maybe it was by inaction, but I was the linchpin that made this happen. It wasn't a Rex, but I take responsibility for all of it. For, for my poor judgment on Patrick's motivations. For what came of it. For everything after. Might not be as burned to bear, but he, in that moment he decides to carry it and lean on faith. And I'm not a man of faith. But, oh... That's some good payphos. And yeah, they get rapture bombed. 
and then Eddie Eddie has this little moment, and the joke being, Edward did, after all, find a treasure in the monastery. And Kodelka goes about her business with Roger, probably cleaning up this mess and restashing the immigrate document, I hope. But that's why I really like it. And the canon ending sets it up for Shadow Hearts. It's going to be a long, long while before we get to Shadow Hearts because I've got Wild Heart, uh, Wild Arms too. Keep trying to say Wild Arms what I mean, Wild Hearts, and Wild Arms what I mean, <laughs> or Wild Hearts what I mean, Wild Arms. I should pick my run names better. Should have gone with Shadow Arms. <laughs> Wouldn't be so confused. But yeah, that's the start. It's a unique game. I highly recommend you try it out for yourself. With a little a little prep and a little research, she's not so terrible. But that's going to be the last time we see Kodelka for a long while, Trashkin. So take it in. Let it wash over you. As per ever, we're going to let the, the credits play out for a second time because I like the game that damn much. Hmm. Just... Fukuda made one game. He uh, wasn't particularly happy with caving to the development staff. He wanted to go uh, full innovative. But he caved. And, like, it was a lot of ex-Square softers. that weren't Square Enix yet. And he regretted that and went back to composing. But the man's work is impeccable. It, it really stands out for the era. It's a unique game. It's definitely worth playing. There was talks about a re-release years and years ago in the 2000s. Or like 2013. Nothing came of it. We assume because the copyright holder says no. Like nobody, nobody's got a lot of details to latch on to there. But good glob, I promise you this much, if it's ever available in a modern format, I will happily snap that up. I will happily trot back into this this monastery again. This is the rarest of all gems in early JRPGs. A short, concise, and pathos-filled game. They don't spend a lot of time... It came on four discs because they needed to jam those FMVs in somehow. It's fully voice acted. It's top of the heap as far as PlayStation 1 voice acting to me. I I really can't say enough nice things about it. I understand it's not everyone's flavor of vodka, but if it is, it hits hard. It's a good time. The subjects are handled maturely, and you cannot beat that soundtrack. Kakuda did excellent work. He had an idea in his head he wanted to get out so badly. He built a game studio just to make one game. I'm a little sad not to see him make another. Because, like... Maybe he doesn't have that level of passion in him again, but Kakuda, you ever make another video game, I'm first in line, Chief. I... I guarantee it, I stand by it. Because, dude, I love what you did with this, and I'd love to see you try it again. Um... So, now that you've had the game spoiled for you, uh... In the descripto, in the doobly-doo, as they say over across the pond, are the links to some scholarly folks that have done some scholarly works on this chunk of video game. If you want to know about the more of the making of, head on over to the Gaming Muse. They have the making of Kudelka. If you want to know about the game proper, hit uh, Transwitch Reviews, who has an exhaustive two-hour in-depth in-depth uh, breakdown of the game. Ragnarox, who, who has a you should play this because. And uh, A Proper Bird, who also has an exhaustive breakdown of the events and analysis of the media itself. Uh, all of them I've found delightful and worthwhile and have been in the doobly-doo for the entire run. 
Oh, okay. I missed a couple, but that's because I was a, a little busy trashkin. So 16 hours well spent in, in my book. And, uh, of course, I'll be taking a week off. Then after... We make for or for Wild Arms 2. And uh, we tell you a little story about Ashley and a gun with a big knife attached to it. Okay, Trashkin. I'm uh I'm gonna stay here at the, the end page. I'm I'm gonna have the, the ending queue up for no outro this week. Well, I guess we'll keep it short. Trashkin. Thanks for coming out and keeping the vibes chill around the trash fire. I've been your humble host, Ras for Trash Bear, and until next time on Trash Tier Gaming. Take care of yourselves. Don't forget to have a good stretch by the trash fire. I don't want you pulling anything in your walk home. Good night, and I will see you in the next one. Holy hell, we did it. We finished the game from one end to another. <sighs> we are two steps down the road and on the third step. We might actually finish the Wild Arms run, or excuse me, the Wild Hearts run, before Penny's blood or Penny blood and Arm Fantasia hits. Who knows? Maybe, possibly, probably not. There's there's a lot of Wild Arms. It's it's really gonna come up the end of the run, Trashkin. All right. Good night. It's been wonderful. I've got that endorphin high, and I'm a little splashy, so this is where it is. Uh, Editor Rass, if you would be so kind as to queue up that ending bot, please. Thank you.